what's up everybody welcome back to talk that talk if this is your first time here hey make sure to subscribe so today we got to talk about Portia's family values now I missed last week sorry y'all but I'm back to this week now bravo let me talk about something because I missed last week's episode and I still have not watched last week's episode because bravo does not play reruns of Portia family values I was scrolling through my guide, and you know how when you go on your guide button, you press the guide button, and you can see when another show is coming on, when it's coming on again. That show ain't repeat. I couldn't even watch it on Live on Rivals channel, as you know when they play the repeats, or when they play Real Housewives of Atlanta or Salt Lake City. They play last week's episode before the new episode drops. They didn't even do that for Portia. What's up with that? Like I probably got to go on the Bravo app, but how come I can't catch it on on demand? They ain't, where else y'all got this show? Because I thought I thought that was messed up. I thought that was messed up. I couldn't even catch a rerun. So if anybody talks about her ratings, they ain't even trying to help her out with playing the reruns. Okay, that's another conversation. I was really I was really annoyed about that, but I did catch this Sunday's episode. Okay, so this episode started off. It's like a continuation, but they was fighting. Dennis was tired of whatever conversation they were talking about. So, since I didn't watch last week's episode, this is what I have gathered. Okay, y'all could fill me in. They were talking about Portia's friends. Storm probably chimed in. They were talking about how Dennis cheated on Portia. And um, how the friend, the guy friend, had mentioned that um, Dennis had one of the girls he was cheating with working at one of his places of business. And all that. And it stirred up all these old emotions in Portia. And she was heated. Because now she's reminded of all the BS that she went through while she was pregnant. How he was cheating on her. All that stuff. Okay. Dennis got sick of it. Because he's trying to defend himself. Trying to move on. Whatever. And um, now he's sitting at the table with everybody. He's talking. Rehashing all the stuff. Storm must have said something or chiming in. And they always try to shut down Storm when she chimes in. So he told her to shut the F up. Then it went left. And he was like, you know, we out. He gets up from the table. He has his signal to his mom. We out. And um, they start to get up. Portia's up now. And she's like, get out. Get the F out. And then I see a, you know, it's like a lunge. Okay. I see a lunge. All right. Storm is over there too. Why when Dennis, this is, this is what I don't understand. Because everybody's wrong. Why when Dennis gets up and he's like, are we out? Why did everybody get up from their seat? Why did Portia get up from her seat? Why is Storm up from her seat? Because they were up pretty quick compared to like the other people. when Because the other people got up when it, it turned physical. Why did they even get up when Dennis got up to leave? If he just said, okay, Storm, shut the F out, which is disrespectful. Why did that trigger anybody to get up and go towards that exit with where he was at? Why did that ha Why did Portia ever get up? I don't, I don't understand that. I'm going to just say, I'm going to just say that she was just seeing red and she was ready to fight. Because when she was up there. She was just so ready to tell the mom to get the F out. Like, she was ready to fight the mom. So, it was like, were there other things said after he said we out? Like, were there other things said? Because why did that happen? You know, why, why, was, why did she get up? Why was Storm up? Why were they over there? But everybody was sitting down at a table. For what? You know, why was Portia so aggressive towards the mom? You know? I, I don't understand to, to that level, to that level. Were there things that we did not see? So, when I rewatched this fighting clip over and over and over again, Portia definitely did a lunge and Dennis looked like he did a lunge and apparently he hit Storm or pulled her wig off or whatever. Um, it turned into a huge brawl. It looked Lauren was swinging at a point. She hit Dennis because I think she realized that Dennis hit somebody else. Um... The Storm's mom was swinging at one point. I saw her in her bright dress. I couldn't see where Dennis's mom was. She must have been in the middle. 
because and she's short so i couldn't really see where she was i saw storm swinging porsche swinging laura lauren hit dennis because she looked like she reacted from him hitting somebody else um and storm's mom swinging and then the friends looked like they was breaking things up her uh, porsche's two friends light skin chick and the guy um it was bad simon was grabbing porsche porsche was throwing studio equipment y'all like and this is all family around you know what i mean like somebody in her family her aunt could have got hit by that big behind pole studio pole thing that she threw i think there was glass thrown like her aunt could have got hit storm's mom could have got really hit Lauren could have got hit really bad. Some of her friends. Because everybody who, who she's throwing that crap. Like she threw that in the crowd. And her family's there. Yeah Dennis is over there and his mom. But the majority of people that could have really get hurt. Is going to be somebody who you care and love about. So why start throwing stuff? I don't know. It just, it just got too crazy. Dennis and the mom left. Which they should have. There was no reconcilia uh, reconciliation to be done at that point. Um, it has gone way left, way too far when it gets physical like that. Simon saying he's seen worse. I don't believe that. I, I don't. I really don't. I really, I really think that was a downplay the whole situation because that was really bad. That was really bad, really bad. And the fact that Portia didn't want anybody to talk about it the next day, it really made her look like she was trying to cover up her part in it. And she just didn't want anybody to speak about it at all. But production, she ended up pissing off production. Because the next day, when they did that whole meditating exercise, whatever, uh, production came in and said, listen, if we ain't going to talk about yesterday, then this whole scene don't make no damn sense. Because you on a TV show, y'all had a big fight that happened, and we need to talk about it, basically. And Portia like, well, wrap up the scene then. You know, she didn't want to talk about it. But now, at present time, there's an apology that was made to Dennis's mom by Portia. Um, and clearly, she regrets not talking about it because she wanted to protect Dennis, the family. You know, she and you know they have a child together, which I understand because Dennis probably did something that shouldn't have happened. Portia did stuff that shouldn't have happened. A lot of them did stuff that shouldn't have happened. But um, it made Portia look like she was uh, guilty as hell. Like, it made her look like she was guilty by saying, nobody talk about it. It just made her look bad. But, I don't know. Now, at the rest of the episode, Portia updates her mom on what happened on the trip, right? And Portia's mom is very biased towards Portia. She's always going to be Team Portia. That's her daughter. I understand that. Um... So you're really not going to get that like great advice from her mom as far as being able to analyze the situation, look at both sides and say, hey, you were wrong in this. He was wrong in that. This is what you need to do to me in the middle. You're not going to get that from Portia's mom. You're going to get it from Portia's aunt. So I do like how Portia's aunt kind of circles back on what the whole focus is anyway, which is PJ. Portia's aunt is the only one that's thinking like, yo, you were wrong for this. He was wrong for that. I think he reacted this way because he's defending himself around a bunch of people that keep bringing up old crap. And you holding on to all this stuff you got with him because you still got feelings and all this unresolved issues with him. But y'all need to meet in the middle. There's still opportunity for PJ. She the only one really fighting for that baby. You know, like in midst of all the chaos because I think that Portia's focused on her emotions which is human and she's just focused on oh well Dennis just brought a girl there to bring me jealous or to make me jealous or Dennis just did this to make me this or to make me it's like she's fo so focused on the pettiness of their breakup and that petty ex-girlfriend shit she's on and Dennis is that petty ex ex-boyfriend ish he was on my they're both ex-fiancés but ex-boyfriend ish he's on okay that they get blinded by trying to blend the two for pj and um i'm glad she has her aunt around to kind of get her back centered on what the focus really is it ain't about y'all it ain't about y'all 
All that drama, all that unnecessariness, it ain't about y'all. Dennis can bring a girlfriend if he wants. Who cares if you have moved on and are now engaged? Why do you give a damn? And if you kind of somewhere and you still gives a damn, you shouldn't be going on vacation with him. Period. You're going to have to keep it real distant. You know, drop PJ off, pick her up. That's it. That's it. It ain't going to be all that closeness. Okay? So they're going to have to figure that out. Um, On social media today, I woke up and I saw this. Portia's cousin. Let's pull, let's, let's pull it up because we're going to get this right. Okay? Word for word. All right? Portia's cousin, she is not on the show. Okay, she's not on the show. Here we go. And she outed some things about Portia. Okay, she was asked to be on the show, but she declined because she didn't want to be a part of that BS. So, her name is Lady T. Ford on Instagram. So, she said to answer some of y'all questions so I don't have to answer them anymore. Was I asked to be on the show? Yes, but I declined simply because I knew initially they wanted to create a fake narrative that Portia has a village to agree to all her BS and she doesn't. So basically, she don't agree with Portia dating Simon and, and everything she's doing right now. The next question, people are asking her, does she still talk to Portia? She said no. After not hearing from her or Diane since my mom passed and then months later asked to do a show, absolutely not. I'm not a seat filler. So she like, I ain't heard from y'all when I need a family, so I ain't going to be um, on that show to fill a seat. Last one is, does she agree with Portia and Simon's relationship? She says she does not agree with messing around, better yet being engaged to a married man, which I told Portia my thoughts. And Portia's response, amongst a few other words, was be blessed. So, she really don't have no relationship with Portia. And she says she doesn't um, agree or condone with the behavior that happened on the show. And her parents raised her better. And she apologized to Dennis's mother about this. So, she came out and said, you know what? I don't got no relationship with Portia. I don't agree with Portia. Being engaged to a married man, I declined being on the show. They trying to create a little false narrative over there, and I ain't with it. Comment on what y'all think about that, okay? Was Portia wrong in any of this on the show? Was Dennis wrong? What y'all think about Simon's reaction to it, you know? Because he was a little, he was cool as a cucumber for me. A little too cool for me. How crazy, how crazy can you get, Simon? How crazy your, your family get? Alright, comment what you think down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.